low cholesterol, health risk as well? Summary, the scary facts about low cholesterol. A low cholesterol level is as undesirable as a high cholesterol level? Confusing, huh? Indeed, we have probably been enlightened by a thousand books and articles regarding the harmful effects of a high cholesterol level and how to lower it down to a healthy range. But did we ever come across a page discussing as deeply about the dangers of very low cholesterol and how to raise it up to a normal level? Experts believe that very low cholesterol levels may be symptoms of hyperthyroidism or an overactive thyroid gland, liver disease, malabsorption, malnutrition, hypocholesterolemia, and insufficient absorption of the nutrients from the intestines. Extremely low cholesterol levels which are considered abnormal are known as hypocholesterolemia. There is an ongoing study that links this particular abnormality to tuberculosis. The study points out those tuberculosis patients are also found out to have hypocholesterolemia. The study aims to consider the prospect of using cholesterol as a means for the prevention and treatment of tuberculosis. Dutch experts recently made studies to gather more proofs that low total blood cholesterol levels can raise the risk of depression in men. They have observed that men with low cholesterol levels displayed depressive symptoms of anger and hostility in contrast to the men with cholesterol levels within the normal range. Other recent studies have discovered that aside from the risk of depression, people with very low cholesterol levels are prone to anxiety, suicide, and hemorrhagic stroke. These studies further state that people with cholesterol level under 180 mg per deciliter are two times more at risk to developing hemorrhagic stroke compared to those with levels at 230 mg per deciliter. Research points out that the metabolism of serotonin, a substance that regulates a person's mood, may be influenced by cholesterol. As the study found out, the levels of serotonin decreased in men who have low cholesterol levels. So how low should we go? Most likely, a total blood cholesterol level way below 150, the most desirable level of which is 200 mg per deciliter. Some doctors believe though that getting your LDL way below the normal level is better. The reason why LDL should be the main focus in cholesterol lowering is that this particular lipid acts as the bad guy. They are the ones that accumulate on the walls of the blood vessels, forming a plaque over time which results in blockage of blood flow. Lowering your total blood cholesterol shouldn't be way beyond the normal level, as experts say, because your total cholesterol is not only made up of the bad, LDL, cholesterol, but the good, HDL, cholesterol as well. So it's not a question of how low you should go. Checking your HDL level should be done as well. Increasing it will make it more effective in counteracting your bad cholesterol. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.